Hi and welcome to today's episode of the Soul Shots on the Radiant Soul podcast. And today I want to talk about what are you resisting when you are dealing with addictions and what addictions can be and how they show up and why they sort of come into our lives right what happens is an addiction is really a clinging on to something to avoid a situation to avoid pain to avoid trauma and so we can we'll find ourselves turning to substances or whatever it is food whether it's drugs alcohol or even relationships or anything like that to avoid the trauma and the pain inside. And this is a really obvious way that we see addictions being used. And, you know, by all means, like you need to get help with this. If you are suffering from trauma, if you are suffering from PTSD, if you have had trauma in your past, which most of us have, like these are things that really need addressing with professional help. Like you really need to actually learn to have ways of coping and dealing with this but another thing I see is people using spiritual practices in an addictive way and avoiding not so much a pain body but more a kind of like what is the next level what is the next phase and it can be really seductive to keep doing these practices to keep doing the meditations to keep doing the guided meditations and all of these things and, and, you know, the morning pages or the journaling, and you think that you're doing the work, you think that you're actually creating a difference in your life. And on a surface level, you are, but at a deeper level, there is something wanting to emerge and it can be really hard to drop into that complete stillness. And I found myself doing this too, right? I found myself doing all the meditations and lots of guided meditations and a lot of spiritual work. But, you know, even I knew, like, just deep down, I just I just knew that I wasn't getting to the depth. So I, I wasn't going deep enough. And the reason why was because what was deep and what really wanted to emerge was incredibly terrifying. It was incredibly life-changing and life-altering. And so I have played with and dallied going deeper but staying sort of surface level really and what I noticed was that I was having real trouble dropping into complete stillness because I was scared of what was there and I don't think it was pain right I, I, I really know it wasn't a pain body at that point it was actually an avoidance of what's next and what's being asked of me and I've seen this with clients I've been working with too. Like they have these big visions, but when it comes to doing the meditations, it's like they won't quite just drop over the edge into that, into the absolute, into the complete unknown and into the complete stillness. So their mind is still tick, 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 ticking away. And then they're completely avoiding the whole purpose of why we meditate, right? And it's it's absolutely normal and natural and I have done it and I've seen many clients do it. And it's it's this avoidance of a deeper version of ourselves, a more powerful version of ourselves that really wants to emerge. So are you using spiritual practices in this way? Are you avoiding going to those deep, deep places within you into the complete stillness, into the complete silence where the brain is completely not involved. And if so, like, what are you avoiding? This is the question. And it's absolutely okay to just be aware of it. You don't need to go and change everything immediately, but it's just that awareness can bring you to a sense of more stillness, you know, and I'm still working with mine. I'm still allowing it to come and come through me. And I invite you to do the same. And that's all I've got for you today. It's just a little a little reminder, a little like, you know, uh signpost to say like don't don't fall into this trap. It's easy to fall into. <laughs> all right, thank you for listening. I love you. Have a great week. Bye. If you'd like to go deeper with your spiritual and soul journey, 
and have someone guide you along the way, then the Sacred Soul Painting Journey might be just the thing for you. It's a 12-month container where we soul journey together in one-on-one -on -one sessions and where you will receive unique downloads and transmissions from your higher soul essence and spirit team. And I'll also channel you your very own Sacred Soul Painting packed with energy light codes and activations for your unique soul path and evolution. To find out more, head on over to soulartbyshirley.com. Thank you for listening. Bye.